What is up, you guys? Welcome to a hopefully very happy, very productive morning routine. I wanted to switch things up. I know you guys love a good morning routine. This one is not so much a super early morning routine, but it will definitely help you in making your morning a little bit happier, a little bit more pleasant, and hopefully more productive. So the first thing I do is I down a bunch of water that I usually keep on my nightstand. I turn off my fan. I always sleep with a fan on and I grab a hair clip and I put on my robe. I love this robe. It's a Disney inspired robe. It's super, super soft and it has like the Cinderella logo on it. I love it. And my dog, Carl, is still in bed. He does not move. And I just put on my robe. Uh, disclaimer, I don't usually really sleep with anything on, especially as it gets warmer. Like we're in the warmer spring months here. So it's getting a bit better. I try and make the bed kind of around Carl. It's not easy. Any other pet parents might relate. And while I'm making the bed, I try and get some daylight right away. So that's another thing that I do. You can also get a sunrise alarm clock that I love using mine. I just really, really love having the daylight. So that's one of the first things I do as well as make my bed the very, very first thing. So that that's done. And it's one item off my checklist that already makes me feel better. So we have the softest bedding. That blanket actually is the same material as my robe. I love it. I kind of try and just spruce up the bedroom from there. I clean up the, the fan, I put it in the corner and I just get everything ready for the day so that our house actually feels clean and organized so that I can have a productive day. And then I make way, my way over to my vanity in the closet and I grab my phone and the very first thing I do, I'm not turning off an alarm or anything. I don't usually wake up to an alarm recently. I actually put on an audiobook and I grab my face roller. So I have an ice roller that I keep in like a little pink mini fridge. It's all very vibey and very cute. And then I listen to an audiobook. I don't check my email. I don't check my text messages. I don't check social media. So I head into the washroom while listening to my audiobook and I grab a couple of my favorite things. So I wanted to share these things with you. So I have a lip balm, some oils, my face roller, my toothbrush. Yes, a lot of it is pink and I love it. And I also have my natural deodorant as well as a tongue scraper. And then my favorite base cleanser recently is Frey as per usual. So I always have a cream cleanser from Frey, but they just launched this micellar water that I absolutely love. It feels so clean. So I brush my teeth. I have a little electric toothbrush in baby pink. I've been using it forever, I love it. And then my little foaming cleanser, my new cleanser, which I love. And then I put some liquid sunshine oil, that's literally what it's called, in my diffuser. And then I also use a little bit of peppermint oil on my temples and the back of my neck, not only to wake me up, but just to relieve tension as well. And it's amazing. And then from there, I do my little ice roller. This ice roller is so freaking cute, I love it. And it just feels so good in the morning to de-puff and just to energize and wake up and feel happy. And then I use my little lip mask that I just got. There is, I think, papaya, mango, coconut, something in there and it's delightful. So another tip is you can actually lay out your workout clothes the night before. This I didn't because I knew what I was gonna wear because it was brand new and there was still tags on it. So I was very excited to wear it. So I can link my entire workout outfit down below for you guys. It had all of the spring summer vibes and I was very excited. And I had to have a matching pair of running shoes with the outfit, of course. So once I selected my outfit and got all cleaned and dressed, I also grabbed a scrunchie. I am obsessed with scrunchies lately. These are from Sewing Sweethearts, a small business that is on Instagram. I will link her page down below. She also makes the cutest headbands ever. So I matched my outfit to my scrunchie, of course, grabbed a pair of socks. And I just, I always do this. I stuff my phone and my socks into my shoes and I bring them downstairs with me. But first I usually put on an oil before I do my workout because when I sweat, it actually amplifies the smell of the oil and I smell that much better whenever I sweat during a workout. So the Havana smell as well as the coconut cream smell from Confectionery Soaps Co is so good and she has a launch coming up. So definitely get on it. So that same liquid sunshine I put in the diffuser in our bedroom as well. So that when I come back up later to have a bath and to shower and whatnot, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna have a shower. I'm gonna have a bath, but our room smells that much better. So I love, love, love doing that. So I have one going in the washroom as well as in our master bedroom. And this way, whenever I make my way downstairs, yes, Carl is still in the bed. Everything is clean and organized that way. So the one way that I can get him out of the bed is to promise him that we can go see daddy. And he gets so excited. 
So Andre was already awake. I just grabbed my stuff, my planner, all my things, and he was actually doing the laundry. So our laundry room is right actually on the other side of our master. Husband of the year, I know, as I was editing this, I was I was knowing that some women were gonna be like, oh my God, he's doing the laundry. He really is that awesome. So from there, I go downstairs. As per always, I light a candle. So I have a little candle drawer of all my favorite candles. So to match the oil that I'm wearing, there is a candle that exists in the same scent and it smells so good and so summery and I love it and it just makes me so happy. It smells like bananas, it's incredible. So it's called Havana from Confectionery Soaps Co. I will leave the link for her website down below. So, so, so good. And then I fill up my new bottle. I love this bottle. Again, all the summer happy vibes in this video. So I fill up my water bottle and I always add a ton of ice cause I just love a ton of cold water in the morning, cold, cold, cold water, and Carl was getting all of the attention. So usually I let Carl outside on the balcony first thing. He goes to just say hello to the neighbors and barks at the mailman and all the things. And he usually just does a couple laps on the balcony and then I let him back in. So from there, I made my pre-workout mixture. So usually what I do is I do a scoop of our all natural pre-workout and then a scoop of my hydrate. So basically a bunch of electrolytes and it just totally works for me and feels that much better. And then I walk over and let Carl outside, lace up my shoes. By the way, in one of my previous morning routines, I put my shoes on the kitchen table and so many people were completely annoyed by that. And I don't even know why I did that. I don't usually do that. I saw it whenever I posted the video. I thought, since when do I do that? But don't worry, it's not a usual fact. So I get set up for my workout, which I am loving right now. It is the newest workout to launch in the Fit Gym. So I host a virtual Fit Gym. It's literally what I do for a living. You can work out from home. This is a 30 day program and it is literally the countdown to summer. I am so excited for this Fit Gym program. So all the girls are doing it. It is not only a pretty much equipment free workout. This was the weightlifting day. So there's two weightlifting days a week, which who it burns, but in the best way and the best music. So you kind of get to like dance in between the sets and like, it's so fun. And listen, I, I'm not a dancer, so it's not really a dance program, but I do love insanity. So if you know what insanity is like the original insanity, that is literally how I got started working out at home. So this is near and dear to my heart, but imagine doing that in 30 minutes or less to amazing beat dropping music. Like what? And all the music is part of the program. So much fun. So everything is open. Everything is available. I actually have a full free sample workout for you guys. If you want to test it out before getting into the fit gym, I will leave all the information for that down below. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And the coolest thing about the Fit Gym is you literally get instant access. So if you register, you can be in within five minutes and doing your workout in the next day. So from there, what I usually do is I do my stretch, which is also included in the program. And then I, I jig it out a little bit. Again, this is a full joyful morning routine. You needed to know and be just a part of the whole thing. So for reference, I used five to eight pounds and then I pull open the app that is also part of the Fit Gym. I usually do a five to 10 minute little ab workout that's just on my phone, same app that's used in the Fit Gym. And I just pick a five, 10 minute one. And then I'll sometimes do a meditation. Now I did a meditation, but what you can't hear is that I have music pumping in the background because I need to move while I meditate. I really struggle with sitting still as you can see. And then what I do is I go, I check into the upper virtual fit gym with the girls. So they have full access to a app. We have a zoom link where they can work out virtually with each other if they want to. And then they check in, I check in with them and then I go live with them almost every single day, as well as the girls on my team. I do the daily grind. As you guys know, um, if you ever want a taste of the daily grind, I had done 31 days of the daily grind publicly and it's on my vlog channel. So a lot of you guys don't know, I actually have a separate channel that's just all motivation and fun and excitement. So that's pretty much the sequence of my workout. And then I make my way upstairs, say hello to little Carl. By the way, whenever I asked about this video and what you guys wanted to see in our morning routine, everyone said Carl. So he is throughout this entire video. Then I put on some airy music. I love this airy music. So we listen to Disney area music, which is park music. And that is, can be found on YouTube. I will, I'll just leave the link for it down below for you guys. Then I make my shake and I love making a good salted caramel shake. It's very summery, very exciting. Caramel is one of my favorite flavors ever. And this is delicious and very, very good for me also. So I put a ton of ice. I put some vanilla oat milk. I make enough for Andre and I, so I do two packets of the caramel superfood mix. I do a bit of water just to smooth it out and a ton of collagen. So I will leave all of the links for this down below. My favorite collagen, the one that I use, the girls in the Fit Gym also use this and they can actually get the shake, the collagen and everything included with their bundle whenever they join, which is awesome. It is 
so flipping good. Like the fact that this is good for me and I start my day with it, I can't even tell you. And then we had a parcel arrive, all the samples for our window treatments. So we have to choose drapes as well as blinds for the Disney house and you guys helped on Instagram, so thank you. And then one thing I always do in the beginning of my day is I plan. So. I started bullet journaling and I had to share this little nifty tool that I found with you guys. It is a little pocket printer. Isn't it so cute? It's like a little parrot and he has a beak and everything. But what you do is you just upload the pictures to your phone and what you want and you can print it in like two seconds. So this is what I do. I print out my top 10 goals and I just like peel it out of the printer. And then I have this two way sticky kind of tape that I got off of Amazon. It's just like, it kind of looks like whiteout, but it's not, it's just the two sided tape on the other side. And then I tape it down and then I don't have to write out as many things. Or if I just have inspirational pictures, like one thing I wanted to take a picture of was just a girl in her tank top and for reasons that I cannot say. And I loved it. And then I just color coded everything. I color code all my goals. By the way, I have a full video on how I bullet journal and plan and cars <laughs> part of it all. I can't make this stuff up. He literally just pops up everywhere all the time. So I map out my goals. I do a full to-do list and then I schedule out my day from there. So like I said, I'll link the bullet journal method down below for you guys. And then from there, Andre quickly came down, um, paused our music and we had a phone call with the builder from Disney. So he went through just all of the house. He sent us a walkthrough of just where we're at with the house. We sh it should be done pretty soon. If you guys want to do like an update video with Andre and I, we totally can. I love talking about just the design process and everything. There is so much love and heart and work that has gone into the Disney house. It's insane, but so flipping exciting. And it's all coming to an end soon, which is crazy. So then from there, I make my way upstairs and I usually have a bubble bath. So I'm not kidding whenever I say I don't use our shower. I think I've used our shower maybe three times since we've had this house and we've been in here for five years. I don't like showering. I find it very impersonal. I'm just kidding, but not really. So I use this Nilla Nana. So this is another banana flavored concoction from Confectionery Soaps Co. I love, love, love it. And then I just bring my water with me and I have my bath and I just wash off. And then I wanna share this, this is part of my new routine. So I'm all about like with the ice roller and this little tool that I have, the lymphatic drainage. So I put some bio oil, which by the way, if you've never bought bio oil, do it. It's so good if you have like cellulite or stretch marks or you just want to have smooth, beautiful skin. So I will do this paddle, which you can get off of Amazon. And I make sure that I'm following the proper method to do it. So there's a right direction to do this so that you can actually drain your body of all the toxins. So I work my way up my legs and then I do down my sides and I work my booty. So if cellulite bothers you, this might be a great option. So I don't really feel like cellulite bothers me, but I feel like stretch marks bother me. And this helps a ton, especially with the bio oil. I get asked so much on Instagram about my tanning routine. I don't really tan unless I'm feeling really, really, really pasty, which is what I was feeling today. So I use all different types of spray tans. I like the mousse ones and I always use a glove. So the Isles of Paradise one is really good. It's not my favorite. I have to say, if you want a really good smelling one, Fake and Bake makes really good smelling spray tans, super good. So I just kind of made my way all over and mixing this after I put on the bio oil just makes so much sense. I love it. And then I go into my beauty room and I just do my little morning makeup routine. Usually I am on camera, so I like to make sure that I have some form of a face on most of the time, but if I don't, it's all good. So I usually start with a little serum. So I will link every single product that I use. So this is the glow serum. And then I use this Frey Refresh Me. So from the same company as my face wash, love all of their stuff. And then the face oil that comes with the ice roller. It's by the Skinny Confidential, by the way. I've followed her for years now, years and years and years. I love it. So whenever she launched this, I jumped right on it. So I usually do some ice rolling and especially post-workout, it feels so good and it stays cold for so long. I love it. So then I use this primer from Fenty Beauty that came in my BoxyCharm, which I was very excited about. And then I ice roll all the way down to my shoulders and everything. And then I discovered this Kat Von D concealer because I bought the foundation and you guys, the hype of this foundation, it, it lives up to it. It is so good. I love it. So I dampen my beauty blender and then I mix the foundation and the concealer all together. And then this bronzer is my favorite bronzer ever. It's by Morphe. I love it. It's just the right amount of pigment. And then this cream blush is by Fenty. It's like the darkest color ever, but it's so pretty on. I think it's called Summertime Wine. Love it. Goes really good 
with a good bronzer, which I absolutely love. So I always do that Morphe bronzer, but then I use the Fenty bronzer as a contour. And then I got a bunch of highlighters from Fenty Beauty as well. I didn't know that I was gonna love her stuff this much, but it's, it's on point, it's great quality. So what I do is I use the highlight and then I use the bronzer as a contour. And the bronzer is called Island Thing. There's different shades, obviously. And I think that's what she's known for is just how many shades there are in the collection, which is incredible. And then this Rosé Pastel eyeshadow by Huda Beauty, which is so pretty and so summery and so happy. And then I put a little bit of that highlighter on the tip of my nose. And then I bought this serum that I use for my eyebrows just to fill them out. You can also use it on your lashes. Listen, if you guys have trouble doing your brows, get the Fenty Beauty brow pen it's so good by the way i just want to say nothing in this video is sponsored at all i'm just sharing all the things that i love and that make me happy so then i kind of buff out my eyeliner which i do the huda beauty eyeliner and i'm still using the same mascara the honest beauty mascara i flip and love it it's so good and then i just got this coconut lip oil carl is still there so that lip oil is really, really awesome as well. And then Andre helped me. I couldn't open my lash glue. So I always use a duo lash glue. It's the right brand for me. It's, it works super well, but I get a lot of questions about lashes. So what I do is I put the glue on and then I do my lips, let the glue dry on the lashes. I've kind of come to love doing my lips. I don't know why, I guess I just found the right color. So I have a MAC lip stick and a Dominic lip liner and then I put my lashes on so just wait till your glue is dry if you struggle with doing your lashes then I usually set up and I do my hair but not before Carl loses his mind on the UPS guy this dog is part cat I swear it's unbelievable do you guys have dog little dogs that do this I guess a big dog wouldn't and then he he looks at himself he looks at his reflection yes this is our life together so then I will usually set up and I do my hair. So I have a actual hair routine video that is coming your way, but I wanted to show you what I do to revive my hair. So this is a day that it needs to be washed, but I just didn't have the time. So I use that Boosta spray to just get the roots lifted. And then I will use that wand to kind of heat it up and curl it a little bit, which takes two seconds. And I put some Velcro rollers just on the top portion of my hair. I don't do the whole head. Whenever I wash and blow dry and fluffy up my hair, I do, but just to get it zhuzhed up, it totally works. And then because this is a very happy morning routine, we had to wear some tie dye. I love this dress. I'm trying to find places to shop online. Can you guys help? If you have suggestions of great little online shops, please comment down below because I'm in the mood to online shop. I think we all need that in our life right now. So then from there, I grab some jewelry, especially on the days that I just wanna feel really, really great. I grab a couple of pieces of jewelry. I'm loving my little evil eye necklace. And then I have some cute earrings that my bestie got for me. And then that same scent, yes, I'm obsessed, comes in a body spray. So I spray that Havana scent all over myself and then I just basically smell like a little tropical paradise. Oh, and I also have the Havana scent in a, in a hair serum. So I unroll everything. I put the serum on the tips of my hair and then I use this texturizer spray. I think it's a Davinus texture spray. It smells like candy. It's delightful. It smells like cotton candy. So cotton candy mixed with banana in my hair. I love it. And it makes it look like it's freshly washed as best as I could and that'll last me just one extra day. So then I put my slippers on and then Carl and I make our way down the stairs. So then Andre and I will usually have our first meal. So the shake is technically my first meal, but this is like our first meal meal. And what we like to do is do a green juice. We do a green juice almost every single day. So what I'll do is I'll Instacart a couple of stalks of celery for the week so that I have it. And then a bunch of green apples, like one big bag of organic green apples usually does it. And that's pretty much the base of our green juice. Sometimes we'll throw in an extra lemon or anything like a watermelon or pineapple or extras. And then we will do a side of scrambled eggs. So I did a dash of half and half cream with about six or seven eggs. And then I put in some cheddar cheese and I just mix it all together. It's delightful. And then we have the green juice on the side. So I usually finish the green juice while I'm cooking so that it doesn't have to be a part of my breakfast. It doesn't taste bad. It's just celery juice and green apples. It tastes totally fine. And it's so good for you and so good for your skin and really, really great for digestion energy. Like there's so many health benefits to it. And I love Love our juicer by the way I feel like that needs to be talked about the juicer is so good there's no chunks of anything that get left behind it juices it really well it's quality so then by that time once Andre's done doing the juicing or I help him we serve the eggs it's nothing fancy but it works for us and then we usually sit down in the kitchen Andre always puts maple syrup on his eggs it's very Canadian of him he adds that in 
And then we just kind of sit down and have a little breakfast meeting before work. And Carl is with us every single step of the way. And then from there, it is puppuccino time. So if you've been following on Instagram, Carl has been getting a puppuccino every other morning. It's not every single morning, but in his little Ray Dunn cup. And I love that. I think that one says slurp. Yeah, he, he goes nuts for this. It's just whipped cream. But he loves it and it makes him happy and therefore me happy as well. And it's all part of our happy morning routine. So the best part of my morning is definitely whenever I get my coffee. I love this mug, by the way, it says the daily grind. Yeah, see, he, see how much he loves it? He loves it. So my mug says the daily grind and of course it's Ray done. And then I will usually froth some milk in our Nespresso machine and Andre usually makes it for me. And then we've got our area music going all the while. We also feed Carl in this time. He loves a snuffle rug. So I froth a little bit of milk and then I, I I need a whipped cream topping too so then I make my way into my office which I am currently remodeling so I'm just set up in my office I started using it again I had gone through a hiatus where I just was working at the kitchen table or the dining room table for a while but I started setting up in here and I have all of our decor laid out of what I want to do with the office and I'm just so excited about it and this is really when my day starts so I've already done my workout I've already checked in with my customers and the girls in the fit gym and from here, I answer emails, I edit videos, I go live for my team, I talk one-on-one -on -one with my girls and my coaches, we do group masterminds, like there is so much that happens throughout the day. It's always different, so it's always exciting, but I do spend a lot of my time at my computer, so I think that's cool. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I'm good to go and I can really work from anywhere. So for this past 12 months, that has been a total blessing, and I have to say that just the fitness side of things has been the bigger blessing. And it was the community that I didn't even realize that I needed to help with anxiousness and anything that's going on in the world. And if you're feeling that, you are not alone. So I am so, so grateful for it. And I really hope that this little morning routine and dose of happiness can help you with your morning as soon as tomorrow morning and you can implement some tips. If you did like it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed. And I always notice your comments down below. So please take the time to leave a comment and I will see you next time. Bye dudes.